For this next video, I'm going to show you how to create metric conversion factors using reference table C in the New York State reference tables for the physical setting chemistry. Reference table C gives you metric prefixes and tells you what factor of 10 that metric prefix represents. For example, kilo means 10 to the third, or 1,000. So a kilogram would be 1,000 grams. Deci is 10 to the negative first, or a tenth. So a decigram would be one-tenth of a gram. And milli is 10 to the negative third. That would be one-thousandth. So a millimeter is one-thousandth of a meter. To create the conversion factor, we have to take a look at the problem that we're being asked to solve and the units that we're starting with and the units that we're ending with. If your unit doesn't have a prefix, for example, gram, meter, second, mole, no prefix in front of it, no prefix would be a factor of 10 to the 0. If you want to convert between millimeters and meters, what you need to do is look on the reference table to find out what the factor is for milli and what the factor is for meters. So milli, according to the reference table, has a factor of 10 to the negative third. And meters is 10 to the 0 because there's no prefix. So we go back here, milli is 10 to the negative third, meter is 10 to the 0 -th. How many powers of 10 difference is that? Three powers of 10. One followed by three zeros. Now you ask yourself, are there 60 minutes in a second or 60 seconds in a minute? It's 60 seconds in a minute, right? Because a second is small and a minute is 60 times larger. So you always put the smaller unit over the bigger unit when you set up your conversion factor. Millimeters per meter. Because a millimeter is really tiny and there's a thousand of them in a meter. For this next conversion, we're going to convert kilometers to centimeters. So let's find the factors for kilo and centi on the reference table. Kilo has a factor of 10 to the third, and centi has a factor of 10 to the negative second. 10 to the third for kilo, 10 to the negative second for centi. Think of a number line, the distance between 3 and negative 2. That's five places. That's 1 followed by five zeros, otherwise known as 100,000 times difference between these two units. Now, because centi is smaller, it goes on top, and because kilo is larger, it goes on the bottom. I mean, think of it. A centimeter is about half an inch. A kilometer is a little more than half a mile. Okay, so there's going to be 100,000 of the little things in one of the bigger things. To convert centimeters to micrometers, we already know that centi is 10 to the minus 2. To find micro, we have to go back up to the reference table. Micro, 10 to the negative 6. How far apart are negative 2 and negative 6 on the number line? 4 apart. 1 followed by 4 zeros. And again, we put the smaller unit, micro, over the bigger unit, centimeters. And that's how you create conversion factors that you'll use to solve conversion problems. Let's perform some conversions. First problem that we have up here, we're going to convert 0 0.012 meters to centimeters. Meters is 10 to the zeroth because there's no prefix. Centi is 10 to the minus second, according to the reference tables. That's two powers of 10 difference. And centimeters is smaller than meters. Then we're going to give our given amount, 0 0.012 meters in front. Now what we have to do is decide how are we going to cancel out meters and be left with centimeters? Well, to cancel out meters, you have to multiply these two numbers. Meters over 1 times centimeters over meters. The meters cancel and leave you with centimeters over 1, also known as centimeters. So 0 0.012 times 100 is 1.2 centimeters. Now pay attention, 007. The number of significant figures that you start with in your measurement are the same number of significant figures you will end up with when you're done. For the next conversion, we have grams that has no prefix, 10 to the 0th, and nano, which is 10 to the negative, 
Gee, I don't know. I better look this up on a reference table. I'll be right back. I have a reference table. According to this reference table, nano is 10 to the negative ninth. See, it says it right there on the reference table. 10 to the negative ninth. So, 10 to the negative ninth. Now, what's the difference between 0 and negative 9? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a lot of numbers. And nanogram is much smaller than gram, so that's nanograms per gram. We're given 45.3 grams. How are we going to cancel out grams and be left with nanograms? Multiply. And we end up with 45 billion, 300 million nanograms. That's a whole lot of nanograms. To convert centimeters into kilometers, all we have to do is look up the factors of each one. Centi is 10 to the negative second. Kilo is 10 to the third. Five powers of 10 difference. One, two, three, four, five. Centi is smaller. Centimeters per kilometer. The information we're given, 32.1 centimeters. Now, how do we cancel out centimeters? Notice that centimeters is in the numerator, and centimeters is in the numerator over here, too. If we multiply, we'll get centimeters squared, so that won't work. The only thing we can do is divide. And that gives us 0 0.000321. And because centimeters have canceled, it leaves us with kilometers. So to sum up, if the unit you're converting is in the denominator of your conversion factor, you multiply. And if the unit you're converting is in the numerator of the conversion factor, you divide. Just for fun, let's try one more. I know, it's really fun, isn't it? Woohoo! Conversion! Kilo, 10 to the third. Milli, 10 to the negative third. Six powers of 10 difference. One, two, three, four, five, six. Milliseconds is smaller. Kiloseconds is larger. We're given 0.982 kiloseconds. We have kiloseconds as the unit we're going to convert. Kiloseconds is in the denominator. To cancel it out, we have to multiply. 982,000 milliseconds. And that's how you do conversions. I might recommend that you go back and watch this again a couple of times just to make sure you get how to come up with a conversion factor and how to apply it in solving a conversion problem.